Okay, we have a 1 1,000th scale uh, pre-Dreadnought naval battle, which is uh, just off Brighton Pier in 1890, using Perfidious Albion rules. Here we see the beginning of the uh, French fleet arriving off the coast of Brighton. And here are the bombardment targets that they have to uh, hit several points in the town. Um, and here's the Brighton Pier, as it appeared in 1890. Here's the uh, the coastline which depicts Brighton uh, and the French fleet still under blind so we don't know quite which squadrons are there. And we've got a close-up here of the town. These are the damage cards for the, for the ships. A um, bit like battleships using the grid system to see whether you hit or miss and what you hit. Um, and here's the first French squadron, which is the Requin, the Terriba, and the Indomitable. And the second French uh, squadron with the Corbet, which became known as the Courgette in the game, the Amaral Baudin, and the Formidable. Another French squadron, smaller squadron, it's the Surcouf 1 and 2. And here's some uh, French torpedo boats patrolling off the uh, off Brighton Pier. First of the Royal Navy Squadron starts to come on. This one's led by HMS Victoria and Camperdown um, with Edinburgh not quite on the table yet. Uh, we then have a Royal Navy Squadron coming in from Portsmouth which is the uh, the Bembo, the Ajax and the Aurora. And here we see two Royal Navy Squadrons which are Colossus Rodney a torpedo boat, the inflexible Galatia, and another torpedo boat. Uh, the action starts, unfortunately, for the Royal Navy. The Colossus gets hit straight away and is sunk, um, and the Admiral drowns. Uh, the British start firing back, scoring a hit on the French torpedo boats uh, from the uh, Royal Navy squadron coming from Portsmouth. Uh, the French squadron Admiral Baudin, Formidable, and the Courbet open fire, and they start hitting uh, the inflexible and the Glacier uh, quite heavily, causing quite a lot of damage. Uh, here we see the Requin, the Terrible, and the Indomitable uh, starting their bombardment of Brighton, um, and here we see some of the shots landing in the town but uh, unfortunately the only things that they manage to hit are the poor school and the Salvation Army Hall. Uh, a new French squadron arrives which is the Devastation, the Vauban and the Admiral Dupree and uh, here we see uh, the French squadron getting into action and they're beginning to score hits straight away on uh, the Rodney and the Inflexible and the Galatia um, some quite good gunnery from the French and unfortunately the inflexible is sunk um, so not a great start for the Royal Navy uh, but they do get some shots back and manage to hit the Corbet um, but not causing a dramatic amount of damage just yet here we see the uh, Royal Navy squadron of Victoria Campdown and Edinburgh getting into action and the, the Requin Terrible and Indomitable switching fire from Brighton and they're actually sort of firing at the Royal Navy squadrons that are arriving again they're sort of uh, taking sort of Rodney uh, to task and scoring a few more hits on him uh, again the Admiral Baudin, the former Darbler and the Corbet firing all together and causing quite a lot of damage on the Rodney again um, Royal Navy is really coming in for a bit of a punishing time at the beginning of the battle. And here we see some of the manoeuvring. You can see uh, the different squadrons beginning to circle each other, trying to get into the best position. Uh, the Victoria camper down in Edinburgh, um, trying to get a, a bead on the cool bay. And here we see the Bembo, Ajax and Aurora getting into the action and they open and fire on the Devastation and get a few hits on her so the Royal Navy begin to cause a, a bit of damage the Bembo, Ajax and Aurora again firing 
um, on the small French squadron, um, managing to hit and sink the Surcouf, and unfortunately the Commodore on board um, drowns. A couple of the uh, squadrons now getting into quite close quarters, um, so some clever seamanship needed, make sure that you don't crash into each other, and here we see a nice bit of dice action, perhaps the best way to try and sink a French ship. As the ship's getting in close quarters, um, now starting to fire off some torpedoes at each other. And the Amarill Bowdown is hit by torpedoes and causes quite a lot of damage. The Corbet you know, fires off some tor torpedoes and uh, fires its guns at the Rodney, which succumbs to the damage and is sunk. The core bay here also can be seen ramming the inflexible, um, cutting the Royal Navy ship in half and sinking her. The Admiral Bodan attempts to ram a torpedo boat but just misses. Uh, here we see the Royal Navy squadron coming into action, trying to get after the uh, Devastation in the in the background there. And the core bay coming under fire from HMS Victoria. Um, unfortunately for the French, the Cool Bay sinks. Now the uh, the Bembo and the Ajax getting into action and start going over the Devastation in the background there. British really do need to start sinking a few French vessels. Um, some more torpedo action going on here. Um, with the Admiral Bodan is hit several times by torpedoes and sinks and unfortunately again the Admiral drowns as well. Uh, attempted ramming by the French it's not very sporting, they seem to be doing a lot of that um, and here we see the squadrons of uh, HMS Victoria uh, going after the Devastation in an attempt to sink her the French decide that they've caused enough damage to Brighton and the Royal Navy squadrons and decide it's time to head off home. Um, a couple of the ships have to take tests to see whether they arrive home, but unfortunately the Bembo sinks en route back to Portsmouth with too much damage. Um, the French do gain a victory, but that is downgraded because of the uh, media disaster shelling the poor and the uh, Sally Army, which is not cricket really is it, but still a win for the French. <laughs>